he made the money to bring the family over from Europe um, by dressing up as a hippopotamus on stage, that he actually played hippopotamuses only on stage across Europe and made enough money because I heard my great-grandma say he was a stage hypnotist. And, <laughs> and so that was the picture because to me, you know, it's like kids play trees all the time in school plays and stuff, so it just seemed logical. That was kind of what I drew out of it. But, um, but just giving an idea of the sort of person that he was, he, he would, um, well, one thing he would do that was pretty wonderful. He was always either praying or, or making mischief of some sort. Um, and and there, there was this one thing that he did, and I swear he did it for me, but I don't know for sure, but every time there's a group of adults in a room, and, and now kids, I mean, you're standing there and you're a kid, and you're, you're standing there and, and you can see things that nobody else can. You can feel things that nobody else can. You can see the, 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 the character of light and the nature of the light in a room. You can hear things that no one else can hear, but you can feel wonderful things. You can feel wonderful things, and, and, and one of the things I would notice when I'd sit there, I'd be looking, and all the adults in the room would have a shadow, except for my great-grandfather. But always, he never had a shadow. And these are the kind of games that he would play. He would stand in the spot where there was no shadow, always, waiting for me to pick up on it. And eventually I did notice it, because he knew that I would. And he started playing these games with me where I'd look at him, I have no shadow. I'd look away and look back, and his shadow would be twice as long as everybody else's in the room. And I'd look away and I'd look back again, and it'd be no shadow again. And then from there, and keep in mind, he'd be having conversations with the adults, the grown ups, and they'd have no idea this was going on. He'd begin to turn his shadow into things like elephants. He'd be like arranging things on the table, like bags and like, you know, pieces of bread, loaves of bread and candles and stuff into the shape, so his shadow is the shape of, a, of an elephant, but the adults never picked up on it at all. And it was just for me. Anyway, um, so that's my great grandpa. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> hey, it's been really fun visiting with you guys. We're the Music Tapes. Thanks a lot for coming, everyone. This song is for Athens, Georgia. Yeah.